All right, another request, how to merge uh, multiple grayscale textures into one texture. Uh, so I've got three images, a regular cloud image, the Unreal logo, and merge all the layers. So let's merge them real quick. Let's create a new texture. And let's make it the regular size. And the background needs to be black. As you can see here, you have three channels, red, green, and blue. I'm going to copy the first one. Control A, Control C. And paste it in the red channel. And I'm going to select this one. Paste it in the green channel. And get the last one. Paste it in the blue channel. And as you can see, they are now combined. I don't use the alpha channel normally, you can, but I almost always try to avoid it personally. Okay, save as. Uh, let's do it on the desktop. Desktop texture merged layers. There we go. And you can do TGA or PNG or PNG doesn't really work with alpha and Photoshop, but I tend to use PNG when if I don't need alphas. So no compression. Okay, now we go to photo, to Unreal Engine. Get the control content browser going. Let's import that texture. It merge layers, and since it's a merged layer, you want each layer separately. And for that reason, you need to disable sRGB. Now, in the texture group, that should be fine. It depends on what you need. Normally, I make effects, so effects for me. And in the compression setting, you can use masks, but it doesn't do anything besides just disabling sRGB. So you can use default in most cases for this. And for that reason, I'm going to keep it at default. Now, anything else I need to disable? Well, I didn't. don't use the alpha, so I'm just going to compress without alpha, even though there's the one. It's just OCD thing. All right, I'm going to save that. And uh, now if I make a material, um, merged layers there, um, plugin texture, the red channel shows this, the cloud, the green channel shows the Unreal logo, and the blue channel shows the merge all the layers thing. Now keep in mind that when you combine RG and the B channels, that there is some compression artifacts when you close up, especially with the Unreal logo, because it's black and white, you can definitely see it at the some of the edges here, just a little bit. That's just mid mapping. In most cases, that's fine. Unless you need something really crisp, but then you can either uh, set the mid map values to something else, like absolute. That way it will be a bit better, but it will cost a bit more memory. Or at least there's no mip mapping, no LOD for the textures going on, but that's basically it. It depends on what you need, of course. And you can also set sampler clamp, that's all different things. So I think this covers what you want to know. Different layers, different channels of textures in one texture. So that's it.